أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حاميم The revelation of the book is from Allah the exalted in power full of wisdom We created not the heavens and the earth and all between them but for just ends and for a term appointed but those who reject faith turn away from that whereof they are warned Say, do you see what it is you invoke besides Allah? Show me what it is they have created on earth, or have they a share in the heavens? Bring me a book revealed before this, or any remnant of knowledge you may have, if you are telling the truth. And who is more astray than one who invokes besides Allah, such as will not answer him on the day of judgment, and who in fact are unconscious of their call to them? And when mankind are gathered together at the resurrection, they will be hostile to them and reject their worship altogether. When our clear signs are rehearsed to them, the unbelievers say of the truth, when it comes to them, this is evident sorcery. Or do they say, he has forged it? Say, had I forged it, then can you obtain no single blessing for me from Allah? He knows best of that whereof you talk, so glibly. Enough is he for a witness between me and you, and he is oft forgiving, most merciful. Say, I am no bringer of new-fangled doctrine among the messengers, nor do I know what will be done with me or with you. I follow but that which is revealed to me by inspiration. I am but a warner, open and clear. Say, see you, if this teaching be from Allah and you reject it, and a witness from among the children of Israel testifies to its similarity with earlier scripture, and has believed while you are arrogant, how unjust you are. Truly, Allah guides not a people unjust. The unbelievers say of those who believe, if this message were a good thing, such men would not have gone to it first before us. As seeing that they guide not themselves thereby, they will say, This is an old, old falsehood. And before this was the book of Moses, as a guide and a mercy, and this book confirms it in the Arabic tongue to admonish the unjust and as glad tidings to those who do right. Verily, those who say, Our Lord is Allah and remain firm on that path, On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Such shall be companions of the garden, dwelling therein for a, a recompense for their good deeds. We have enjoined on man kindness to his parents. In pain did his mother bear him, and in pain did she give him birth. The carrying of the child to his weaning is a period of thirty months. At length, when he reaches the age of full strength and attains forty years, he says, O oh my Lord, grant me that I may be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon both my parents, and that I may work righteousness such as you may approve and be gracious to me in my issue. Truly have I turned to you and truly do I bow to you in Islam. Such are they from whom we shall accept the best of their deeds and pass by their ill deeds. They shall be among the companions of the garden, a promise of truth, which was made to them in this life. But there is one who says to his parents, Fie on you! Do you hold out the promise to me that I shall be raised up, even though generations have passed before me without rising again? And they too seek Allah's aid. and rebuke the son. Woe to you, have faith, for the promise of Allah is true. But he says, this is nothing but tales of the ancients. Such are they against whom is proved the sentence among the previous generations of jinns and men, that have passed away, for they will be utterly lost. And to all are assigned degrees according to their deeds which they have done. and in order that Allah may recompense their deeds and no injustice be done to them. 
and on the day that the unbelievers will be placed before the fire, it will be said to them, You received your good things in the life of the world, and you took your pleasure out of them. But today shall you be recompensed with the penalty of humiliation. For that you were arrogant on earth without just cause, and that you ever transgressed. Mention Hud, one of Ad's own brethren. Behold, he warned his people about the winding sand tracks, but there have been warners before him and after him. Worship you none other than Allah. Truly, I fear for you the penalty of a mighty day. They said, Have you come in order to turn us aside from our gods? Then bring upon us the calamity with which you do threaten us, if you are telling the truth. He said, The knowledge of when it will come is only with Allah. I proclaim to you the mission on which I have been sent, but I see that you are a people in ignorance. Then when they saw the penalty in the shape of a cloud traversing the sky, coming to meet their valleys, they said, This cloud will give us rain. Nay, it is the calamity you were asking to be hastened, a wind wherein is a grievous penalty. Everything will it destroy by the command of its Lord. Then by the morning they, nothing was to be seen, but the ruins of their houses. Thus do we recompense those given to sin. And we had firmly established them in a prosperity and power, which we have not given to you, you Quraysh. And we had endowed them with faculties of hearing, seeing, heart, and intellect. But of no profit to them were their faculties of hearing, sight, and heart, and intellect, when they went on rejecting the signs of Allah and they were completely encircled by that which they used to mock at. We destroyed aforetime populations round about you, and we have shown the signs in various ways, that they may turn to us. Why then was no help forthcoming to them from those whom they worshipped as gods, besides Allah, as a means of access to Allah? Nay, they left them in the lurch, but that was their falsehood and their invention. Behold, we turn towards you a company of jeans quietly listening to the Qur'an. When they stood in the presence thereof, they said, Listen in silence. When the reading was finished, they returned to their people to warn them of their sins. They said, O our people, we have heard a book revealed after Moses, confirming what came before it. It guides men to the truth and to a straight path. O our people, hearken to the one who invites you to Allah, and believe in him. He will forgive you your faults, and deliver you from a penalty grievous. If any does not hearken to the one who invites us to Allah, he cannot frustrate Allah's plan on earth, and no protectors can he have besides Allah. Such men wander in manifest error. See they not that Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and never wearied with their creation, is able to give life to the dead? Yea, verily, he has power over all things. And on the day that the unbelievers will be placed before the fire, they will be asked, Is this not the truth? They will say, Yea, by our Lord. One will say, Then taste you the penalty for that you were wont to deny truth. Therefore patiently persevere, as did all messengers of inflexible purpose, and be in no haste about the unbelievers. On the day that they see the punishment promised them, it will be as if they had not tarried more than an hour in a single day. Yours but to proclaim the message, but shall any be destroyed except those who transgress?